People come to Blowing Rock for all kinds of reasons. Some people are searching for those spectacular views and others are looking for something more. And we discovered that very often they find exactly what they're looking for. Everyone can get away from the darkness. When it comes to life's big questions, they aren't always answered with obvious signs. Much is left open to interpretation. But on the corner of Maple and Main in Blowing Rock, there's a one-room purple shop standing out in a rustic mountain town. This house has been built in love. They're only two inches long and covered in plastic. I know, they're beautiful. However, to Sherry Furman, these handwritten prayers are priceless. I just want to be loved. For years, they were hung on the vines outside her store. The makeshift tree became a pilgrimage for those looking for more. There were so many prayers that were so similar. The prayers piled up. Sherry lost count somewhere in the thousands. And then um, the day came. The loss came. But then the love came. That loss happened in 2019. Her store caught on fire, and shortly after, the prayer tree had to be taken down. I fell to the ground crying, and then all of a sudden, this wonderful woman, Sherry, came to me. Peyton is 12, but when she was seven, she lost her dad. And when she was eight, she lost her mom. Her messages to them were hung on the prayer tree. The moment that I had met her, I walked away and I said, God, you have taken everything from me. And that is okay, but please help me keep this promise to this little girl. Sherry's promise was to create a garden for the prayers. Did not have any idea. So Renee Carter. I am, it's Wes's. Yeah. In honor of her late husband, Wes, gave it to her. Wes would be all about this. Um, he would get a lot of joy from the work that's gonna be done here. I always felt a connection here, but didn't understand why. It was an unexplainable connection that soon became perfectly clear. You get to be the one. When Peyton saw it for the first time. Just like staring around and like seeing all the things that would be possibilities, but how beautiful it was just as itself. As for those answers to the big why questions, maybe over time they become obvious, like a garden ready for spring and those thousands of prayers. Everyone, we did not lose one prayer. That never burned. As for those prayers that never burned in the fire, Sherry put them in the foundation and in the walls of her shop here. So when they rebuilt it, it was literally built in love. And Alicia, that garden is ready for spring and it's gonna be a community garden. They still have some work to do, but you can already see just how beautiful and how meaningful that's gonna be for people here. Maureen, to see Peyton walk through the gates and just see how proud she was. Thank you for telling their story.